Sophie, thank you. Good evening. Some breaking news tonight. The leader of York Council is to stand down, saying personal attacks have taken their toll. James Alexander has faced criticism over the trial closure of Lendl Bridge and his Labour group lost control of the council in September. I've spoken exclusively to Mr Alexander. We'll show that interview in just a moment. But first, this report from Kate Bradbrook. The Chancellor will be making a decision. James Alexander has been the leader of York Council for three and a half years. In that time, he faced big opposition on two main subjects. One, plans to build thousands of new homes in York, branded unrealistic by the opposition. And then there was anger over the Lendl Bridge saga. More than a million pounds worth of fines issued to drivers using the route during a trial which the traffic adjudicator ruled couldn't be enforced. Those wanting their money back were told they'd need to apply for a refund. In September, Labour lost overall control of York after a councillor defected to the Tories. Now James Alexander is standing down as council leader, claiming work for the Labour Party nationally. He says he's ruled out standing as an MP at next year's election, though he'll remain a backbench councillor until May. A new leader will be elected before the 11th of December. Kate Bradbrook, BBC Look North. Well, James Alexander gave me an exclusive interview today. I asked him if the pressure of the job had simply proved too much. I wouldn't say the pressure got to me, but it certainly influenced my decision. Uh, you know, I've been incredibly resilient over the last few years, and I think many other people would have toppled ages ago. Uh, and I'm confident about what we've achieved and proud of our, our achievements. But at the same time, um, you, you, there comes a time and point where you've got to start thinking of your family and thinking of what that impact is. I didn't have a young family when I started as leader when I was here slightly larger and more bushy-tailed, and now I do. And I, I can't afford to be in a situation where potentially opposition could take control of the council at will and I wouldn't be able to afford my next month's rent. And, and that presumably is a reference to the vote of no confidence that was well, going partly. to be applied possibly next month. Were you worried that you'd lose that? No, because uh, that only came forward today, and you know how these things work. It's almost like a chicken and egg. I'm sure that they got wind that I was going to make this announcement, and therefore they wanted to be able to say that I was pushed. And that's certainly not the case. Um, I went for an interview a few weeks ago. I've you know, ha had to think long and hard about the decision over the last few weeks, and I think I've made the right one. The Conservative leader, Chris Stewart, he would say this probably, wouldn't he? But he said you've ridden yep. roughshod over the council for three and a half years. He often says things like that, and he's also called on me to go, I think, about six or seven times, so maybe he'll be rubbing his hands uh, after this announcement. Um, but at the same time, you know, I, I argue that politics is supposed to mean something. It's supposed to make a difference to people's lives. And it's about ideas and ideals. It shouldn't be about personalised politics. Regrets? Lendl Bridge? That wasn't a very good idea, was it? Well, it depends. Uh, traffic congestion is not going to go away in the city of York, as you well know. And uh, we have to take some tough decisions forward. We've spoken about it as a city since 1974. I'm not one of those politicians who simply wants to remain in office forever and do nothing. I think that's pointless. And uh, if you're going to make a difference, you've got to make some of those big decisions. This one was unpopular. We listened. We've reacted. But at the same time, I, I don't regret trying it. Do you think Labour in York will survive the criticisms that have been levelled against them, the Lendl Bridge, the housing plan, in next year's elections? Do you think they're going to get well and truly sorted out, or will they come back as sometimes they do? Well, Labour is more than any one person. Uh, a lot of people have tried to characterise the party as me in York, and I think that's inappropriate. And uh, I've got every confidence that Labour will win a majority at the next local elections.